I am going to show you what I consider to be the best PHP routing library. The library is called PHP Router. I will put a link under the video description to it. Go ahead, open that website and you will see something that looks like this. I already read the documentation for it. It's extremely easy. So if we go to GitHub via this link or via this link here, we are going to find that we have three files, the HT access, the router, and the route. So go ahead and create in your computer the exact same three files, .ht access, router.php, and routes.php. And then copy the content of each of these files from GitHub into those files there. So these three lines in the HT access, they will be copied right there. The router copy all the code from it and put it right inside this file that's the heart of the system and the last file will be the routes copy all these for the routes and put it inside the route so i have already done that but you don't really need all the routes from the example so what i did let me do it again i deleted all the routes except the first line that is needed to point to the heart of the system, which is the router, only 56 lines, by the way, so it's extremely fast and simple. And then I deleted all these routes that we are not going to use. So I end up with the following file. Save it. And now, as you can see, that if you point to any route that is not found, that's the any, and the 404 is default in the router.php, so it knows what to do with it. It will point to the folder called views, and then it will open the file 404.php. So first of all, let me go to localhost and try it. So localhost, by the way, I will save this file. And you can see that I have a page not found. Let me go to the views folder. And right here, you can see that I have the 404.php. And the only thing I have inside this file is a simple HTML page that says page not found. So if it is said, sorry, for example, page not found, that's what we get. So now I'm going to just try it. I will pretend that I want to point to items and obviously I get page not found and anything else that you try to point to users, it will say page not found. So this is really, really nice. Besides all that, if we want to point directly to the views folder, so I go to views, if you were not using the router, it will display what's inside this folder, creating a security risk, of course. But now when I go to views, it says, sorry, page not found. So let's create another route so you see how this works. I'm going to create a get. And this will point to the default page, which will be the index page. Usually it's the forward slash, of course. And this will go to the views folder, index.php. Save it. I will create that page, index.php. And now I'm going to create a very simple HTML template that says, welcome. Save it. And now I'm going to go to localhost only. And now we get the welcome page. And that's because this page, whenever you point to the root of your website, which is localhost or your domain name, it will go to the views folder and it will open the index page. Now, it doesn't have to be called views, the folder. You can place it anywhere you want. So if I wanted to create a new route, for example, and then I want to point to items, and I pretend that items is inside a folder called test, I could just create a folder, test, and then I can put inside here the items.php website. And now we just write here, for the sake of simplicity, items here. Save it, save the route. And now we'll go to forward slash items. And let's see what we get. It is here, no such file or directory, on line 43. And I wanted to show you this because that is something that we may do. Just remember that 
this here is not the index page, it's the items page. So if you point to something that is incorrectly inside the folder, you will get a warning so the library helps you about it. And now you get the items here. So obviously we are going to have some logic in our views folder. So everything will go inside the views and therefore I will move the items inside the views. I don't need a test anymore. I will just delete this folder. All right, so now you know that you can create any folders you want and you can create any routes you want. So now let's get into something a little bit more complex. Pretend that you want to get an item, but you want the item by its ID. So maybe you want the item with ID 1, or maybe 2, or maybe 3. And this is search engine friendly because you have nice friendly URLs. So instead of just hard coding anything here, that would be a variable. And I have seen many frameworks, many libraries where the variables are inside Kelly braces or defined with a column. And I don't like that. I prefer the way this library does PHP router because variables are defined just that you will define it with PHP with a dollar sign. And that makes it extremely, extremely logic and beautiful. So this will be the idea of the item. So now I will go to items and this will not point just to items. I will just call it get dash item. So you can see how that works. You can call this route whatever you want, of course. I will create a new view called getItem.php. And then right here, we are going to pretend that we have an HTML page. And we want to get the ID that the user will pass under the items route with the respective ID. That will be the variable. So if you get into this, the library will automatically create this variable for you. So what I will do is I will just echo here. The item ID is, and then I will just pass the ID variable. You can see the ID doesn't exist in this file, but it was created right here. And therefore it makes it available to the file. So now I'm going to go to localhost items forward slash one. And then I get a page not found because the file is not saved. I save it. And then we can see the item ID is one. If we put a five, the item ID is five. As you can see, this works perfectly. And it is so, so simple. Just create the route. I'm going to create one more. I'm going to create it called now users and pretend that we want to get the age and then we want to get the name of the user. And this will point to, just for the sake of the example, directly to users.php. So no folder or anything. I will save it. And then I will create the users.php right outside the views folder, right there. Just so you can see that this also works. So inside the users.php, let me just close this by the way. I will create a simple HTML page for the users. And then I will do the exact same thing where I will print users age. And then I will print the variable called age and name. And then I will display the variable called name. So I will copy and paste it, save it. And now I will go to the route called users, passing the age and the name as variables. So users, I will pretend that the age is 25. And then I will pretend that the name is John. Save it. And sorry, just hit enter users age 25 and name John. So this is how the get works. Now, if you point to a route that does not exist, so we'll do a forward slash X, for example, this route is not found. You get a sorry page not found. So this was everything with the get. The exact same thing happens with post. I will just put here comment, post, put, and patch. You can read about this in the docs. 
and the lead as well. So the principle applies to all these routes. Let me just show you how a post will look like. So pretend that we have a post route. That's the syntax for post. And then we're going to save to sign up a new user. So I will point to users. And right here, I will just say that we have a controller. So you could point to the controllers folder. I actually like to call it bridges. So we create a bridges folder. And then I will create a page that allows me to save the user. So I will just call it create user.php. So now I'm going to go and create and point to this post route with Postman. So I'm going to create a new request. It's going to be a post. It's going to point to local post. And as you can see, it says users. So I will point to forward slash users and send the request. And this is not going to open anything because I do not have that users bridge, the create user, and therefore it's giving me a warning. It doesn't crash the page. It just says that you are missing these create users. So we'll build it. I'm going to create a new folder called bridges and then I will create the page called create user.php inside this page the only thing I will do is just echo user create save it and now I will try to send the request and it says user created now, if you want to delete a user, we can also create the route and that will look like this, delete. And then if you want to point to users and then you want to pass the ID of the user that you want to delete, this will look, this will be the route. And this will actually point to, again, let's pretend that I call it bridges. And then I will, just say delete user.php. I'm going to create this file, delete user.php, and I will just echo here user deleted with ID. And then, as you can see from the route, the ID is provided to me as a variable. So I will just pass it, paste it in there. Save it. And now I'm going to go to a new request is going to be a delete local post forward slash users forward slash let's do the ID 45 for example and then you get the user deleted with ID 45 so this is the library it is so beautiful to create routes with it so simple and before I finish the video let me show you what you can do also if you create a new route Let's call it get forward slash post. And now we want to pass a query string to post. So this would be a view, views folder. And then I will just call it test.php. I need to create this page. Inside the views, new file, test.php. And as I told you, this will be an HTML page, of course, but right now I don't care about it. I just care about being able to pass a query string. So I will point to post. Pretend that we want to get a lot of posts from different people. And this should point to the test page. So for now, I just go to the browser. And then I want to see all the posts in this website. And it's empty because I have a blank page. But now I want to pass a query string. So I want to say question mark. And I will pass the name equals A. So this name A is what I want to display here. If that's the case, and this is what I really enjoy from, from this library, is that it doesn't want to override any of those pre-default variables from PHP like get or post. So right now this is a query string, so this will be a get name. It doesn't override anything. So if I present her, let me see what I get here. 
I need to echo. And then we get the letter A. If the name was B, we get the letter B. So this is the best PHP library I have ever seen. It is so extremely intuitive and simple. It supports get, post, delete, the put and the patch. They are done via post also. You can read about it. And the any just display any website if it's not found with a 404. So you have a complete system done in a very few lines of code. And it is, of course, really fast and will make your lives much, much easier whenever you get into this. And also, the last thing, it protects you against anybody just going and opening your folders directly. So if you want to go to the views, for example, you just cannot do this because the page will be not found. It just doesn't display the contents of the inner folders. I hope you like the video. I hope you want to subscribe to my channel where I show you really smart things and hit the notification button as well.